is BitGet trustworthy? Is BitGet a good exchange? And is BitGet worth using compared to the hundreds, if not thousands of crypto exchanges that are on the market? Well, in this review, we're gonna look at the platform from top to bottom, and most importantly, compare it to the competition because I've been tracking all of these exchanges. So let's jump in. Quick reminder, if you wanna sign up for BitGet or any of my top crypto exchanges, click the link in the description. You'll get a referral code, which is the easiest way to save money on your trading fees. First off, I found five reasons why you might wanna consider using BitGet. So key feature number one is they have lots of trading accounts. So first off, you can trade spot 750 cryptocurrencies and a lot more. Number two, they have lots of features in general. Key feature number three is they have lots of volume and over 25 million users key feature number four the platform has low fees and the fifth key feature is bitget has strong security and it's a professional platform so let's break down each of those real quick so number one they have lots of trading accounts bitget is good because you'll find all of the trading features you need so they have spot and they have a wide selection of spot coins at over 750 they have crypto futures margin and if you just go through here they have copy trading trading bots and a lot of different things you can do if you compare that to the competition where does that stand well you can see bitget i have to update this they have 750 plus so they would be like right here near the top with the widest selection of coins over 150 crypto futures up to 125x leverage and you can see it says yes here for all of these features 24 7 support and so on they have a whole web 3 section they have a really great crypto wallet by the way and yeah they offer just as many features as any of the top platforms third selling point for bitget is their high trading volume so you can see the last 24 hours 17 billion dollars in trading volume that puts them at as one of the largest crypto exchanges in the industry so if we're looking at just derivatives here there's a few other platforms with more volume but 14 billion is a massive amount so there's lots of liquidity and that leads me into key feature number four is their low trading fees once you have high volume and low trading fees you can get really good rates on the altcoins you're buying if we scroll down to the fees here and find bitget they have 0.1 percent trading fees that's competitive with the other platforms it's hard to find platforms with less than a 0.1 percent fee as you can see here there's only a handful and the futures trading fees are competitive as well you can also get trading fee discounts such as using my referral link in the description or by trading with more volume and if you're wondering they also have low fees on other aspects of the exchange as well such as the crypto withdrawals which is an important fee that i look for as well so they have millions of users who all trust this exchange and they check a lot of the boxes when it comes to security and when looking for a secure crypto exchange these are some of the boxes you want it to check the more boxes it checks the safer it is they have a proof of reserve Reserves. all funds are backed more than one-to-one -one in some cases and if we go here they've been operating since 2018 so they've been around for quite a few years they have the proof of reserves which I just showed you they use cold storage they have a three to four hundred million dollar insurance fund or protection fund in case anything happens and they've never been hacked or lost funds which is obviously a good thing and it's a professional platform that checks a lot of the boxes when it comes to security so those are the positives what are some of the downsides or concerns with bitget compared to the competition number one would be their fiat trading pairs it's not the best fiat on-ramp in the industry probably better to deposit crypto on the platform. So this is the common setup in crypto. You have your main fiat on-ramp and off-ramp that connects to your bank account. A BitGet might be like that secondary platform. You send crypto there from your fiat exchange just because it doesn't support many fiat trading pairs. I think it just has euros. So if you're using anything other than euros, then you might want to do a different fiat on-ramp. The second downside is their selection of crypto futures. They only have 150 coins. You can find platforms with a lot more if that's something you want. Number three, BitGet is not available in all regions. You can sign up for it in Canada and pass KYC surprisingly. Uh, so maybe you want to try signing up and passing the KYC, but it is not available in every region. And the last thing, it might be harder for beginners to use, uh, but you could figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, and then in this video, I will do a tutorial. I think BitGet 
get, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. There's not many bad things you can say about this platform. Overall, it has really low fees, good security, billions in trading volume, and hundreds of altcoins compared to the competition. And I guess that's why it has millions of users and good reviews online. If you do want to sign up for BitGet, definitely use the referral link below to save some money on your trading fees. Now let's do a full walkthrough and tutorial of the BitGet platform to show you how to actually get set up. So first, I would click the link in the description. It'll take you to a URL like this. And that'll give you the referral code, which will give you a welcome bonus and a trading fee discount. Enter your email, set a password, pretty basic. Now, once you've created your account, the next step is to go through the identity verification. Here, you'll just have to KYC. That should get automatically verified within an hour or less. For me, it was like a few minutes, but it could be up to a day or something like that. But once you get verified, then you can deposit funds onto the platform, start trading and withdraw, of course, as well. After you create your account, you'll be in your dashboard. And like I mentioned, I think it's easier to deposit crypto, but if it supports your fiat currency, you can deposit fiat. But for most people, you're gonna deposit crypto. So you can click this little wallet in the top right, and then you'll have a deposit and withdraw button, and then a transfer button, which will use later but you're going to click deposit then you can select your coin and network it'll walk you through a little tutorial and just send funds to the address in your account the nice thing on this platform is you can deposit and withdraw crypto across many different blockchain networks which gives you just flexibility and lower fees now once you have funds deposited on the platform you're going to want to withdraw them eventually so to withdraw them you just click that wallet icon again click withdraw and here the steps are pretty much the same you just choose the network as you can see here bitget has very low fees and multiple blockchains you can use now once you want to trade you can just click the spot account margin or futures account whatever you want to do click on the account you can access it from here or from the top menu here. Now the spot trading looks like this. You can select your coin from the top left and then put your orders down here on the right side of the screen. Limit orders, market orders, basically like any other crypto exchange. The easiest way to place orders will be with market orders. Now, if you want to trade crypto futures, you can actually click this little icon here to transfer funds. And you can go from, let's say your spot account to your futures account. You can also select this and send it to the account that you want to use. And this is a free transfer and it's how you can separate funds in your BitGet account. Another way to do that is to go here and click transfer. That's another way to move money in between your BitGet accounts. Now, if you have any comments or questions about BitGet or the best crypto exchange for you, feel free to leave a question down below. Like I said, I've reviewed lots of exchanges, so happy to help out. And if you wanna see my list of best crypto exchanges with the lowest fees, go watch this video here where I compared all of the leading crypto exchanges in the industry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.